Hi, this is George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video I'll be going over finding the equation of a line using the slope-intercept form. The slope-intercept form of the equation of a line with slope m and y-intercept 0 comma b is y equals mx plus b. This form of a line is used to find the equation of a line if its slope and y-intercept are known. Find the equation of a line whose slope is negative 11 sevenths and whose y-intercept is 0, negative 9. Negative 11 sevenths is our value of m, and the y-intercept was 0, negative 9, so negative 9 will be our value of b. We'll substitute negative 11 sevenths in for m and negative 9 for b, and there's our equation of the line. Find the equation of a line whose slope is 3 and passes through the point 2, 4. We're going to begin with the equation y equals 3x plus b because the slope was 3. Now we need to find the value of b by substituting negative 2 for x and negative 4 for y. Substituting those into the equation, 3 times negative 2 is negative 6, and I'll solve the equation for b by adding 6 to both sides. Now I know that b equals 2. I need to take that value back up to the original equation and substitute for b y equals 3x plus 2. To find the equation of a line given two points on the line, we begin by finding the slope of the line using the slope formula. Y, m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Then we use this slope in either of the two points we were given to find the equation of the line. We're going to find the equation of a line that passes through the points negative 3, 5, and negative 1, 7. Quickly, as a review of finding slope, y2 minus y1 is negative 7 minus 5. x2 minus x1 is negative 1 minus negative 3, which can be rewritten as negative 1 plus 3. Simplify the numerator and denominator, and we find that our slope is negative 6. Substitute that in for m in the y equals mx plus b form. And now we can use either point to substitute a value for x and y. And I'm going to go ahead and use our first point. But you could use the second as well. Substituting 5 in for y and negative 3 in for x. Negative 6 times negative 3 is 18. Subtract 18 from both sides. We find that b is negative 13. Again, remember, we want to take that value back up and substitute it for b here. The equation is y equals negative 6 minus 13. Here's a problem out of my math lab uh, asking us to find the equation of a line through two points in a real setting. Cost for copies is a linear function of the number of copies. If 150 copies cost $10.50, and 75 copies cost $8.25, write a formula for the copy cost as a function of the number of copies. Then find out how much it would cost to make 700 copies. So essentially we're looking for the equation of a line that passes through 150 comma 10.50 and 75 comma 8.25. Finding the slope using the slope formula we see that the slope is 0 0.03. That essentially means for each additional copy you pay 3 cents. Now we substitute 0 0.03 into y equals mx plus b. Substitute the values 150 for x and 1050 for y, although we could have used the other point as well, in for x and y in slope intercept form multiply 0.03 by 150, which is 4.50, and subtract 4.50 from both sides. So b is 6. Okay, and that comes back to the original equation, and we find that our equation is y equals 
0 0.3, 0 0.03x plus 6. To find the cost for 700 copies, I need to substitute 700 for x and do the arithmetic. We find that the cost is $27. Uh, by the way, I guess I didn't write it here. The equation y equals 0.03x plus 6. Okay, I hope that clears up some things for you. If you have any questions or comments, please feel visit, free to visit the contact page at my website, georgewoodbury.com. Thanks.